Hey guys, MTG Noob here. Um, being really bad at technology, as you could see, putting my logo up the old-fashioned way, the ghetto way, with like just maximizing it. Um, suck with technology, as you already know. But let's talk about the time that I ended up making a new account called the MTG Noob that I've been on a little bit once in a while, and I ended up getting this. Uh, Magic the Gathering Online Planeswalker 2012 deck pack, and I don't really know what the hell's in it, so I'm gonna open it up and see what's in there. I don't, I don't think it's anything good, <laughs> but we'll see what happens. I clicked open one of these, and now the suspense is killing me. Okay, so I opened one of these, and there it is. Okay, so now we have a bunch of cards, but they all have gold borders. Um, and I think that means you could probably use them in certain um, types of games, but I don't think you can use them legally because there's a crap ton of awesome mythics here. So... As awesome as this is, I don't think you can use it in normal games. So, opening it up, I now have all of these cards, which are fantastic cards. Let me tell you, especially uh, this dark steel plate over here, that's a winner. But, um, you know, I now have all these cards, and two Maelstrom Pulses, which is awesome, and I don't know what they do. So, in the comment section, if anybody knows what they do, let me know. All I do know is, since they have gold border, I'm pretty sure you can't use them legally. Um, also, in this video, I got this one pack. It's sitting here. It's tempting me to open it. I'm hoping it has a... Uh, yeah, because we have this Duels of the Planeswalker thing over here. Let's just talk about this for a sec. Yeah, look at it. I have all these cards, and I don't know what I can do with them. But I have a bunch of new cards. They all have gold borders. So I'm assuming they're not standard legal. But it's nice to have them in your collection anyway. And if you can use them in a certain format on Moto, let me know. Oh, is that a Sword of War and Peace? Oh, wait, I can't use that because it's got a freaking gold border around it. All right, but anyways, back to the pack. I can sell this pack, but we're going we're gonna to open it. We're going to try to get lucky and open this M12 pack. So here we go. We're going to open one of these and we're going to hope we don't get a crappy card. Bam. Oh, yes, I'm sure I want to open this pack even though I have regrets already. All right. No jinxes, no jinxes, no jinxes. Open this pack. Open up a mythic and be fantastic. All right. Sweet. Do you see that? I don't think you see how awesome that is. That's so cool. I just took $3 or $4 and ripped it up and opened a Garrick's Lord. All right, so our pack doesn't have anything really saucy. It's got a Distress, which is, I guess, a nice card. Reassembling Selvians, Thrawn Golem, Foil. He's nice and shiny. Um, nothing else spicy, which is pretty unfortunate. Wah, wah. But if we were opening this pack in real life... We would be taking the Garrick's Horde. If we weren't taking the Garrick's Horde, we would be taking the Troll Hide. So that's what we would do if we actually opened it up in real life. Well, thanks for watching, and hopefully you can explain what these damn gold border cards are good for on Moto. And thanks for watching the pack break. Boom! Wish it was better, but it wasn't. So that's that, and thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.